Big thing here is where the Thunder catch this. Shea gets it, spins away, baseline shot. Shea puts it in and walks it off in OKC. Kissing the Blazers goodnight. Giddy gives it to Shea Gildress Alexander. His step back three. Oh, he hits! Shea Gildress Alexander with 1.1 remaining. This is Shea Gildress Alexander, a player for the Oklahoma City Thunder, a first time All Star, and the most underrated player in the league today. Let's talk about it. Before we get too far into the video, though, be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Shea Gildress Alexander is a 24 year old, 6 foot 6 guard that plays for the OKC Thunder. He is the most underrated player in the league right now and is averaging an amazing stat line as a 24-year-old. At just 24 years old, he is averaging 30.8 points per game, 4.7 rebounds per game, 5.7 assists per game, 1.6 steals per game, and 1.1 blocks per game, all while averaging under 3 turnovers at 2.9 turnovers per game, while shooting 50.8% from the field and 91.2% from the free throw line. Absolutely incredible efficiency and incredible numbers as a 24-year-old and not something you see too often. To put it into context how great of a season Shea Gilgis Alexander is having, these are the top 10 league leaders in points per game this season. Shea Gilgis Alexander ranks 5th in the league in points per game this season at just 24 years old, above another 24-year-old this season, Jason Tatum. Now as a 24-year-old, how does his season compare to those of other players at 24 years old in NBA history? Well, in this chart, we have the most points per game by field goal percentage in NBA history by a 24 year old. Here we have Allen Iverson, Tracy McGrady, Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Here's where Kobe Bryant and Kevin Durant rank on this chart, two of the greatest scorers in NBA history. Here's where the two greatest players of all time rank on this chart, Michael Jordan and LeBron James. Here's where Jason Tatum ranks on this chart right now at just 24 years old, who is one of the top five leading MVP candidates this season. And here's where Shea Gilgis Alexander lies. Higher field goal percentage than LeBron, more points than LeBron, higher percentage and more points than Jason Tatum, Kobe Bryant, AI, T-Mac, more points than Kevin Durant on slightly less efficiency. Now, how about free throw percentage? Shea Gildress Alexander is averaging 91.2% from the free throw line, which is insanely efficient, even by today's standards. Here is another chart with the most points per game by free throw percentage by a 24-year-old. You see Wilt all the way up there, averaging a slightly over 50%. You see Giannis, you see Kareem, you see LeBron, you see Kobe, you see Kevin Durant. Now here's where Michael Jordan and Jason Tatum rank on this chart. Here's where Shea Gilgis Alexander lands on this chart. More efficient than Kevin Durant, Jason Tatum, Michael Jordan, Kobe, LeBron from the free throw line. While, al well, while also averaging more points per game than Tatum, Kobe, Kevin Durant, LeBron, Giannis. Now... In the entire history of the NBA, there have only been three players that have averaged at least 30 points per game, four and a half rebounds per game, and five and a half assists per game at the age of 24. The first one is Michael Jordan, who at 24 averaged 34.7 points per game, 5.4 rebounds per game, and 6.2 assists per game. The second one is Kobe Bryant, who at age 24 averaged 30 points per game, 6.9 rebounds per game, and 5.9 assists per game. Shea Gilders Alexander this season at the age of 24 is averaging 30.8 points per game, 4.7 rebounds per game, and 5.7 assists per game, putting him in exclusive company with Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan, surrounded by absolute greatness. This really shows you how much Shea Gilders Alexander is producing and the level at which he is producing. I mean, this is absolute great company to be in. Now, before the season started, the Oklahoma City Thunder were projected to be a very bad team in the West and just in the league overall. NBC Sports, Forbes, and The Athletic all ranked the Oklahoma City Thunder in the bottom of the West. Some, some projected that they'd win 26, 
Some projected that they'd win 20. But overall, in every prediction I've seen, the, the Thunder were, pro- were projected to win under 30 games this season. Right now, the Thunder are 28-29, and 29, which gives them the 10th best record in the West. They are one game below 500, and they are a half game behind the Warriors, who are in ninth place. And they are only a few games behind the fourth seed in the West. At any time, the Thunder could go on a run and end up claiming a high seed in the West. Is it likely? No. Is it probable? Maybe. This shows one thing. The Thunder have exceeded expectations this season already, and that is due to the play of Shea Gilgis-Alexander. The Thunder are most likely going to at least make the play-in and have a real shot at making the playoffs. They are ahead of teams such as the Lakers, the Trailblazers, teams that people thought for sure would be in the playoffs. The Thunder have exceeded expectations due to the play of Shea Gilgis-Alexander, who is the most underrated player in this league, who is a first-time All-Star this season, but you haven't heard a whole lot about. This man is 24 years old, averaging an all-time stat line, and is barely getting talked about while also helping his team exceed expectations. If the Thunder make the playoffs as a rebuilding team because of the play of Shea Gilgis-Alexander, that just shows you how special of a player Shea Gilgis-Alexander really is. And I think Shea Gilgis-Alexander deserves some more respect, and he deserves to be talked about more because he is having an incredible season this year and does not get talked about enough. He is one of the best players in this league and he is only 24 years old and he will only continue to get better as he ages. It will be incredible to see how the rest of Shea Gilgis Alexander's career turns out when he is already this good this early on. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you.